is above all. Above all. Above all. Number three. What is the third question that gives you stability to maximize life, to maximize destiny? Are you ready? Why am I here? It's a question of purpose. This is powerful. Why am I here? Chapter 4 and verse 34. Jesus spoke so profoundly. My meat, he says, is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish it. John chapter 18 and verse 37. John 18, 37. I like what Jesus said. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. Watch this. To this end was I born. And for this cause came I into the world that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Hebrews 10, 7. Lo, I come in the volume 7 of the book as it is written of me to do thy will, O Lord. Why am I here? It is important to know why you are here. I am not here to become a victim of what happens around the economy of nations. I am not here to just keep growing old and then one day die. No. No. There is a purpose. What's that song? No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to his work in me till Christ be formed in me you have given me a destiny a purpose to fulfill so with all I am I'll spend my life to see Jesus revealed and Jesus glory Jesus revealed. Very powerful song. And Jesus glory. Listen. You have given me a destiny, a purpose to fulfill. So with all I am, every breath in me, I'll spend my life to see. I'll spend my time to see. I'll spend my life to see Jesus revealed and Jesus glorified Jesus revealed and Jesus glory I want you to shout it to the hearing of your destiny and the devil I was born for a reason let failure hear you. Let defeat hear you. Don't think you are being childish saying this. Help those under the anointing. He said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. This is how it happens. Born for a reason. It doesn't matter how you arrived. Even if it was a mistake between a man and a woman, that is their concern. God did not just, God was not surprised watching you upon the earth born for a reason there is a space for me in life and destiny no one else can occupy that vacuum no one can intimidate you and bully you out of your place hear me there are many preachers great preachers but there are still others your space is there say it again I was born for a reason yes sir born for a reason if you don't have this mentality you will keep escorting people around the corridors of destiny hating yourself every day blaming those who gave birth to you come on now born for a reason you have given me a destiny and a purpose to fulfill with all I am every breath in me I'll spend my life to see you have given me a destiny a purpose to fulfill with all I am every breath in me I'll spend my life to see Jesus with me and Jesus glory Oh! 
Listen. Imagine the world without Baba Deboe. Imagine the world without Bishop Oyedepo. Imagine the world without the materials and the investment of Dr. Miles Monroe. Imagine the world without Joshua Selman. Imagine the world without you. You are that valuable to God. Listen, you are the, I, I sense an anointing as I'm saying this. I'm not entertaining you. There is, there is, a, there is something God is, is killing out of your life because it's time for your destiny to emerge. He has given you a destiny, a purpose to fulfill. With all you want, every breath in you, please spend your life to see Jesus revealed and Jesus glorified. Jesus revealed. Listen, imagine if the Wright brothers were not born. The idea for an aircraft that has helped us to reach nations with the gospel today. Imagine the inventor of this microphone if you were not born. Imagine the ones who invented the automobile. Imagine the many, many tailors in this place who dress us. Imagine the great people who fix this place every week. Imagine that everyone in the worship team was not born. Who will sing? Me? That's not my assignment. Imagine all the mighty men and women of God in this ministry. The mighty leaders. Imagine they were not there. I would have been alone. Whoever told you you are not that valuable? Whoever lied to you that you are just a drop? Whoever lied to you that the world can do without you so they arrogantly say then God would not have put you here. No eye has seen no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. Do you believe what you are hearing? No eye has seen say What God has prepared for me So I submit to His work in me Till Christ You have given me You have given me A destiny And a purpose to fulfill With all I have me I'll spend Imagine the world without the architects who built this. Imagine the world without doctors. Some of us would not even leave to start the ministry. Huh? Imagine that the man who drove you here was not born. Don't act like you can do without men. They are that important. Jesus needed them. He even said in the multitude of men is a king's honor. Look at all the wonderful people today who have made the world know about Koinonia, who have made the world know about Joshua Selman. What if they were not born? All of the churches that extended warm invites to have brought us to a point of visibility. What if they were not born? What if they did not answer the call? Today in my own little way and with all humility, I look at the so many who have come to Jesus, including those who will be coming tonight. What if we were not born? Listen to me. You are that important. You are that important. My brother, my sister, I know that your dad and your mom forgive them that they call you a black sheep. They were just expressing anger and frustration. Don't take it serious. 
black sheep don't learn what you are learning are we together can I tell you in this place are the global financiers of koinonia in the making apostles to the billions people who will send resources and say let's go to the nations in this place are other apostles and prophets greater than Joshua Selman's rising it is true that someday when you emerge we will be taking notes from you saying my God we've read the Bible but we never saw it this way because of the excellency of the workings of the Spirit someday maybe some lady will rise from among us here and sing songs that will take his praises to the nation maybe some prophet is on his way rising it does not look like it but hear me do not abort that call of destiny born for a reason why am i here born for a reason when you went to bed like joseph you saw yourself as a businessman signing checks to nations give this mission agency give this to koinonia give this to some place somewhere and you got up and the devil said you are joking listen let me tell you this dare to believe everything god has shown you that is rooted in his will and is rooted in christ because it can come to pass and it will come to pass if you listen to this preacher today there are many things that i saw i started seeing miracles when a single headache was not healed in my visions i believed it how it will happen i did not know but i knew that one day we will not only speak to nations we will extend his life his power to nations i used to see crusades in my dream tens of thousands of people gathered across the nations and then i wake up like joseph a small mattress your room what is going on destiny piecing together yeah. yes destiny piecing together let, him, let me remind you esther if you don't res, if you don't rise the nation of israel will suffer let me remind you ruth if you do not rise and you become discouraged you will stop Boaz from having the children from who Jesus will come out from let me remind you David without you there will be no city called the city of David let me remind you Elijah there are still there is still a room for fiery prophets like you let me remind you Abraham Many people's destinies are connected to your obedience. You cannot afford to give up now. Let me remind you, Anna the prophetess. Nobody has seen you, but keep praying because Jesus needs to come. Remain that intercessor. Pray in the morning. Pray in the afternoon. Pray in the night. You may not be on social media, but keep doing your duties. Keep praying. Listen, and let me tell you something. Hear me. Our assignments are seasonal and our assignments evolve so there are many of you right now your real destiny is to be a prophet but right now you are in the media department or the worship team don't graduate yourself and bring yourself because you are seeing visions no stay and serve until he blesses you until you emerge philip was part of the people and Stephen were part of the people who were anointed to serve tables but because of the, the openness of their hearts and their prophetic destinies there was more than a welfare grace on them eventually they evolved Philip the evangelist from serving tables now went to Samaria in Acts chapter 8 and verse 5 and preached Christ unto them and was working miracles with power let me tell you this for some of you the reason why your destiny has remained stunted is because you are too big to start small too big to start small how can I be a member of prayer department and that's all I do every week whereas in my destiny I've seen that one day I will be praying even with the fathers you will never get there if you cannot humble yourself to start small how can I be in a welfare department yet there is a mighty prophet imagine from me 
there is nobody who starts where you meet them in glory they start usually in darkness and they grow as they evolve david starts from the wilderness killing the bear the lion feeding the sheep and he's trained to not just become the shepherd but to become the king hallelujah i vowed to god many years ago and that still remains my commitment that everywhere he puts me part time per season i will serve with all my heart whether i'm here in abuja or in zaria or anywhere around the world the stage is the same for me the assignment is the same i will preach with as much passion here as i will preach in america as i will preach in zaria as i will preach in a bible study of three people I will still shout the truth to their faces until they become. Hallelujah. God is speaking to someone. You have not carried this consciousness of why you are here and you are just getting old. Do you know, in my opinion, you really do not have the legitimacy to elaborately celebrate birthdays till you discover why you were born, not that you were born many visionary people waste money celebrating birthdays and they jump around with no definition as to why they are here and god has given you the gift of time i told you that when you are celebrating birthdays don't celebrate your current age you are celebrating the days left not the days you have spent you are celebrating the days left that means if you are x years old and it's god's desire that you live say up to 80 and let's say for instance you are 40 you have not just covered you are halfway your journey whether you like it or not so don't just celebrate the past 40 years be thankful but look at the next 40 years what can i do at the infancy of this ministry we used to train people three days to your birthday you go for a retreat it's a culture that many still have till today three days or one week to your birthday you don't get up and buy any cake or kill any chicken until you are out of your retreat. You flog it out with destiny asking questions. Lord, at this juncture, what should I do? What is the next step to take? Listen, if your birthday is this month or around the corner, adopt this principle. It doesn't matter who is celebrating you. Let them celebrate sincerely. Go and spend at least a day or two. Lord, I'm tired of wasting time. What is the next blueprint for my prophetic destiny? Hallelujah. But I want you to carry this song in your mind, even as you sleep tonight, that he has given you a destiny. He's giving you prophecy. There's something he said concerning you. The next Benny Hims, the next Elon Musk, the next Sun senior advocates, the next apostles, the next prophets. You see, if you refuse to become, you will stop others from becoming because life is a relay. Other people are depending on your faithfulness to emerge. Today you are hearing, you are growing, you are being trained, you are rising in the spirit and in destiny because by the privilege of God's mercy, somebody's obedience is contributing to your becoming. Your obedience also will contribute to someone's becoming. 